right now on Fox 35 News. Are there voters casting ballots in more than one state? An investigation found, yeah, there are at least 149 voters that have turned up as voting in Florida and in North Carolina in, as we said, the last three presidential elections. Fox 35's political reporter Mike Sinan even managed to track one of those voters down. We got this list of 149 voters from the North Carolina Voter Integrity Project, a nonprofit watchdog group, and they were astounded at their findings. We knew at that point we were going to have some vote fraud cases to be prosecuted. North Carolina officials recommended five for prosecution a year ago. It hasn't happened yet. Next up, Florida's Division of Elections. In talking with Florida on the phone, they were willing and able to receive the email. Jay Delancey with the Voter Integrity Project says that email was sent in April to the Division of State. Never heard a word. Uh, no acknowledgement, nothing. The Division of State says they're checking into it. So we went knocking on a few doors with some names that matched in Central Florida without much luck. Until we went to the home of Gilbert Rowe of Maitland. Hi, I'm Mike Sinan from Fox 35 News. Uh -huh. And uh, our records show that in the most recent presidential election, uh -huh. that you voted both here in the state of Florida and in the state of North Carolina. We're wondering if you have any kind of explanation for why our records would show that. Because I live both in places. Uh -huh. in North Carolina, I pay taxes in North Carolina. I do the same thing here. Okay, so you, so you did vote in both states? For local elections, yes. North Carolina law and Florida law both prohibit double voting. In Mr. Rowe's case, he says he never voted for the same candidate or issue twice. Many states have what in the law is called mens rea requirements, mental state requirements. You have to intend to defraud. You have to intend to try to fraudulently affect the outcome of the election. You have to know what you're doing is wrong. We put that very question to Gilbert Rowe. Okay, and you don't feel like that what you did was in, in any kind of way illegal or a crime? No, not, not that I'm paying taxes. If I wasn't paying taxes there and for supporting my local councilman, I probably would. But I don't feel that way since I pay a good amount of taxes there. Mm -hmm. Is that right. wrong? Barry University law professor Michael Morley says Roe could have trouble with federal laws. There is a federal law that in elections where there's a federal office on the ballot, whether it's president, senate, prohibits people from voting more than once, regardless if it's in the same state, if it's in different states, even if they're not casting two votes for the same office, even if they're voting for federal offices on one ballot, state offices on another ballot, there's a federal law that prohibits that. State election officials don't often talk to each other or the federal government, and Morley says that's a problem. Without actually receiving the ballot from election officials in the first place, double voting couldn't happen. So it's really the voter registration roles and the lack of sufficient measures to ensure that they're updated, to ensure their integrity, that creates these situations. The North Carolina Voter Integrity Project just wants some action. Our research is only as good as when the state will prosecute unless some other party can make the state interested in prosecuting. And that's why we're hoping that your news story will shame our elected officials, in particular the DAs, that it will shame them into actually prosecuting cases of vote frauds. So far, five Central Florida supervisors of elections have been given that list, but they were only asked to provide voter addresses. Now, we actually found one of the voters on this 149-person list is just fine. He did vote in North Carolina in 2012, but here in Florida, the person on the voter roll above him actually signed their name on his line. The Florida Department of State says they're going to continue to look for every single one of these 149 people and act accordingly, even though they've had this list since April and haven't done a thing. Mike Sinan, Fox 35 News.